<laughs> and it was day 10 today and it was our wedding anniversary so um, we just really spent it together and um, we did a little bit of building what else yeah. we do? trying to keep Ambrose into Dan yes and take most of he um, has this like sensor and knows when uh, whenever, whenever we want to be alone. Hmm. He uh, puts a stop to it. <laughs> He's asleep right now. It's good. All right, so Lucas has um, built me this little greenhouse thingy because I had the cover, but the thing that came with it was crappy. Hmm. Okay, Check. so. Oh, oh, it's bright and sunny. What? Yeah, I'll move this hose with. Yeah, that's cool. So we'll be able to um, uh, get a jump start with our seedlings and stuff like that. And 
Oh uh, yeah, put one of my plants that keeps getting attacked by caterpillars into there so that it's got a chance to like come away again. Wind picks up right now. He's such a good builder, darling. Need some shells, don't I? It's a start. Wow! You're kidding me. What? Since I got. Ah, Alright. Universe of Elgin? You're all snuggly? <laughs> yeah. Are you getting under the bed? Like, a good point? There we go. Mm. Alright. Maui in the sun. Once, a long time ago, Ra, the sun, did not travel slowly across the sky as he does today. The people were not happy, for they did not have the time to do all they wanted to do. The sun would jump up, and run across the sky before disappearing behind the western hills, leaving Papatuanuku, the earth, clothed in another long dark night. The fishermen grumbled because they had no time to do their fishing. The hunters moaned because they had no time to hunt the fat keru. The women grizzled because they had no time to weave their baskets and mats. And the children cried because they had no time to play. Everyone was discontented. That sun goes too fast, they complained, but no one knew what to do. Then Maui said, I will go to Da and order him to slow down. Maui asked the wise woman of the tribe to gather Harakeke at the dawning of the next day and to plait a special rope. This they did, and as they worked, Maui recited a karakia to give the rope the extra strength and durability that he needed. Then he gathered together the strongest and bravest of the tribesmen and asked them to go with him to capture the sun. He explained that this journey would demand the greatest of courage and that his men would need to muster up all their inner strength. Soon Maui and his gallant band of men were ready, and as dusk was falling, he led them away towards the east. They travelled only in the dead of night, so Ra would not see them come. During the day, 
Maui and his men curled up and slept under ferns and logs to keep out of the gaze of the hurrying sun. Every night they walked on and on until at least uh, at last they reached the very edge of the world. Maui found the huge hole from which the sun sprang each morning. He and his men made a snare using their special ropes. They set the trap over the hole and in the darkness they sat down to wait. As dawn approached, a red glare could be seen down in the depths of the hole. Maui began chanting karakia to protect himself and his brave men. The light grew brighter and brighter as dark came closer. Suddenly, up jumped the sun. Pull! ordered Maui, and the men pulled, and the net fell over the astonished sun. Oh, where? What is this? <coughs> roared the sun. What are you doing? Let me go. Hold tight, men, shouted Maui as he leapt forward and began to beat Ra with his mere. The sun screamed in pain. Whoever you are, I command you to release me immediately. No, shouted Maui, and he continued to beat Ra. The sun writhed in agony. Why are you doing this to me, he moaned. Why do you beat Tamanui Te Ra? Because you travel too quickly across the sky, replied Maui. If you promise to slow down, we will let you go. Why should I, said the sun, sulkily. And Maui started beating him again. <laughs> Ra writhed in agony, but could not escape the determined blows of Maui. All right, all right, yes, I promise, he agreed. I will travel more slowly. Maui lowered his mirror. We have an agreement then. Be warned that I will be back if you break your promise. The men released the ropes and the sun rose slowly into the sky, too weak from his beating to go any faster. And when Maui and his men returned to the tribe, they found the people rejoicing in the longer days. But now and then, Ra forgets to travel so slowly and he hastens his pace, just a little. We call this time winter, when the days are shorter. But when he recalls the beating that Maui gave him, Ra slows down again, and long warm days of summer return to the land. The end. It's a good one, eh? Alright, I'll turn this light down, eh? About there. Yeah, that's good. Right, I love you, sir. Princess. Mm. Have a sweet dream, son. I'll miss you to the morning. I don't want to see you.